One of the big areas of need post-pandemic is to do with people's mental health and well-being and I think engagement with the arts is a fantastic way to for people to heal, to reconnect with their community, with their own creativity. I hope that Sidmouth Coastal Community Hub and Sidmouth School of Art are going to be a catalyst for that healing and that positive engagement. Sub-portraits in this time, I think in the future, people might look back at as in a really interesting point in history. So I think it's a really good way of looking at who you are and who you want to be and trying to explore aspects of creativity in your life. Quite a few people who normally might feel that they weren't talented at art seem to be really, really enjoying the freedom. There was something different about it because you had to like look at someone else instead of just doing it all by yourself. You don't stop if you make a mistake, just keep going because sometimes if you draw something wrong then you're kind of like, you kind of give up sometimes. A lot of the time I do art because it kind of like puts your mind off everything. I think it was something out of my comfort zone that I enjoyed and I'd like to do a bit more of. It was something different that we could have a laugh about and talk about. And I was sat around people who I wouldn't really talk to, but now I have something to bond about with them. We hit upon the idea that we should call the project a school of art, Sidmouth School of Art. And the idea of it calling it an art school rather than an art project or a sculpture trail is that it includes the idea of it's inclusive it's taking everybody along with us and learning something everybody's learning something we're learning something the people that participate are learning something for our young people it's been a real opportunity to explore how they've been feeling and express um, which has been really brilliant for their well-being their first public exhibition might be within the classroom just with other class members so for that to actually be seen by the community is a really exciting opportunity. Students find it really hard to uh, draw themselves and to talk about their own identity so that style of work was very useful to them because it was quite free. They had less pressure and they were able to sort of go with the flow and um, and they were really proud of themselves. Art is one of my favourite like, subjects ever because over like lockdown it's actually been good because I've had so much time to try different art styles and see which one suits me the best. It made me feel more confident because it made me feel like you don't have to get everything perfect. You have your own style and different styles means you have more opportunities to um, do what styles you want. It just gives them the confidence and being able to showcase their work on a platform like this is just amazing for them. A lot of children actually have probably done more work than normal because they've had that time and they've used it as, you know, therapy almost. There's a perception perhaps that Sidmouth's quite a conservative place, but I think once you uh, look beneath the surface, Sidmouth is maybe um, eccentric in some ways. People want the opportunity to be creative. Coastal towns are quite special. They're places where people go on holiday. People have great affection for coastal towns and I think Sidmouth is no different. I think it's a great way to capture. It's a very simplistic, very true way of, of, of seeing people's emotions in that way. No, I really like that idea that like, you don't have to be like, perfect and amazing to be an artist, you know? It's just about like, expressing what you feel on the inside. The more you look at it, the more you see. They stand out for so many different reasons. The one where it says, I'm in a circus, just shows how profound the experience must have been for that particular person. When you actually look closer, it just kind of shows you exactly what is going on for like really specific children. In lockdown, it's all been adults' opinions, and I guess young people haven't been able to have their opinion. Now is the time when the project really begins. I always say that every work is a work in progress and you can't figure out what the work's about until people have responded to it. So I guess the artwork is, is whatever you think it is, you the viewer. So we're finding out.